Hello and welcome to Buzz Plays. First off, I'd like to apologise to my subscribers for not putting out any uh, new content in the last two weeks or so. Um, Meridian has just been upgrading his PC, um, who hosts the server for my Tech It series. Um, hopefully, um, we'll have that all back up and running in no time, and I'll be able to bring you guys some more of my Tech It series. Um, but while uh, I've been off the air with the Tech It, I've been having a look at the new Vault mod in the Technic launcher and I thought I'd show you guys how to actually install the Sfax Pure BDCraft um, Vault textures. Um, so first off, uh, all you need to do is go into uh, your um, internet browser, be it Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, what have you. And then go to the bdcraft.net website. I'll put the link in the description below for you so that you guys um, can just easily click on the link and come here. Now, the one you want to download for Vaults, which is currently using the latest Minecraft build, is the Sfax Pure BDCraft 28, uh, 128 times 128 recommended version. And it's the MC147. Uh, so we'll download that one takes you to add fly um, to actually download so we'll wait for that there we go and then uh, you want to save it to your desktop which is what I always do I just find it a lot easier to find it so we'll download that one there we go uh, so we can close that and as you can see it's there um, and to find the vaults one, uh, obviously I've got the link here, I'll put that in the description as well, but what all I did is I went into uh, Google search and uh, typed in Slacks Pure BDCraft texture, uh, texture Packs Vaults and it brought me to this site. Uh, I'll add, like I said, I'll add the link into the description for you guys so it's easier for you to get here. Um, then all you need to do is if you click on um, Download Vaults uh, 1.2 it will take you to this page here, and then you want to download the 128 times uh, to match the um, pure BDCraft standard that uh, you currently downloaded. Now, uh, again, download it to your desktop to go with your Sfax pure BDCraft, and that's been downloaded. So we'll close that one and minimize that. So we've got both of them on our desktops now. Um, I've started using WinRAR again. Uh, I've used a couple of different ones. I used uh, 7-Zip and Win7 or something like that. It's called, I can't remember. Um, but uh, I've found that uh, WinRAR is a lot easier to use um, and doesn't seem to cause any problems. So all we want to do is we want to open up our Sfax Pure BDCraft. Uh, close that one. And we also want to open up the Vaults. Uh, 1.2 and close that and then we want to copy and paste all these files into the uh, pure bdcraft uh, mc14 file so literally just highlight them all and drag and drop them across now you want to make sure the update mode is add and replace files uh, leave everything else the same and hit ok it will transfer all those files into here for you so we can close the vaults one now and we don't actually need the vaults one anymore to so just chuck it into the recycling bin. Now so you know that this is the one that's got all your vaults updates on, just rename it. I usually keep it the same but I just add vaults to the end of it. And then we can close that. So now if we go into our start menu and search for percentage app data, the same as in every Minecraft uh, texture pack video. Uh, go to our dot technic launcher and then go to the vaults folder and texture packs. And then literally drag and drop that into the vaults uh, texture pack folder and close that. Now we open up the tech, uh, technic launcher and hopefully this won't take too long to load up. Uh, you make sure you've got vaults uh, selected. And 
Yeah, the Mo Yang screen here you can see is just a standard uh, Mo Yang screen um, as we haven't actually selected the texture pack yet. So I'll make that bigger. Uh, texture packs, and as you can see here, it's got the Sfax Pure BD Craft 128 MC14 Volt zip folder. So you want to click on that one. Uh, it will take a second or two to um, load up all the textures. Um, hopefully, it won't take too long to do it. Is it gonna? Yeah, there we go. And then hit done. Again, it take a second or two to um, go back to the main screen as it's loading up all the textures um, that we're going to be using. So hopefully not too long now. There we go. Uh, I will log into my single player world. Um, I haven't really done a lot. I did go into creative mode just to do a bit of testing and I set off a nuke. Um, so I've got to be careful where I stand because of uh, radiated grass. Um, but this is just basically to show you guys that the textures are working anyway. So is it going to load? Ah, there we go. All right, now I've stood all the way over here because you can see I've got my little launch pad there and there is radiated grass all around there um, because I set off a bit too close because as you can see in the distance, um, a nice big hole in the ground where I decided to set off the nuke there and it kind of killed me. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, if we press E, and you can see here all the standard blocks, uh, all uh, Sfax Pure Beadycraft. Um, we've got um, all the textures are updated. Um, also in the stone blocks, and sometimes in the stone blocks you might see like little portal images or little fire images. That means you've got the wrong um, download size. So I've downloaded 128. It might mean that you need to go higher or lower depending on your resolution basically um, but as you can see 128 seems to work fine um, and we've got no um, fire icons or port oil icons in our stone blocks um, but if we scroll down here um, you guys can see we've got all the textures updated here um, all the tracks are updated um, and then we come to the vaults stuff. So we've got the um, smelting factories are updated, um, the turbines are updated, um, and as you can see in front of us here, we've got the satellite, um, and also the missiles all been updated. There are a couple of them um, that haven't been updated. I will see if I can find a download mod for them. Um, and if I find that, I will definitely bring another video to show you how to. Uh, get these in and working um, but as I said most of them are all working I think the bronze uh, armor sets need to be updated a bit but the obsidian stuff um, and the platinum stuff seem to be all updated apart from the actual armors like I said um, so yeah uh, that's basically it uh, this mod here hasn't been updated either but again I uh, will try and find out why so yeah, please uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, and also please subscribe if you want to see some more of the Volts um, texture pack, yeah, the Volts uh, mod itself. As I will be looking at bringing a little mini series of this to go alongside my Tekkit series. Um, also, if you haven't seen any of my Tekkit series, please go over to my channel Buzz Plays um, and have a look at those. Um, they're quite interesting, quite funny, some of them. Um, and um yeah so please rate and subscribe if you enjoyed this uh, episode i uh, will be bringing you as i said a vaults um playthrough um to go alongside my tech kit one so um thanks for watching and i will see you all next time